Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2220 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I am excited to continue our journey through the book of Proverbs, where we will explore its timeless wisdom. Today we're delving into Proverbs chapter 11 verses 24 through 31 from the New Living Translation. So tighten up your hiking boots and we'll explore the path of generosity in these verses. In Proverbs chapter 11 verses 24 through 31, we continue our exploration of the characteristics and the outcomes of living a life of wisdom. These verses provide valuable insights into the rewards of generosity and its impact on our lives and communities. Verse 24. Give freely and become wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. This verse presents a straightforward principle. Generosity leads to increased wealth, while stinginess results in a loss. It underscores the value of a giving heart and the blessings that flow from it. Verse 25. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. These verses further emphasizes the benefits of generosity. The generous not only prosper, but also find refreshment for their own souls. It highlights the reciprocal nature of giving and the joy that it brings. Verse 26. People curse those who withhold grain, but they bless the one who sells it. Here we see the contrast between those who withhold and those who provide. Those who withhold grain and buy curses, but those who sell it are blessed. It underscores the value of meeting the needs of others. Verse 27. If you search for good, you will find favor, but if you search for evil, it will find you. These verses emphasize the importance of our intentions and desires. Those who seek good find favor, but those who seek evil will encounter it. It reminds us to set our hearts on goodness and positive pursuits. Verse 28. Trust in your money, and down you go, but the godly flourish like leaves in spring. This verse contrasts the trust in wealth and the trust in godliness. Trusting in money leads to downfall, while the godly flourish like leaves in spring. It underscores the importance of placing our trust in godly principles. Verse 29. A fool who provokes his family to anger and resentment will finally have nothing worthwhile left. These verses highlight the consequences of the foolish actions within a family. Provoking anger and resentment ultimately leads to loss. It emphasizes the importance of maintaining healthy relationships within our families. Verse 30. The seeds of good deeds become a tree of life. A wise person wins friends. Here we encounter the idea of sowing seeds of good deeds. These seeds grow into a tree of life, symbolizing the positive impacts of our actions. Wisdom also plays a role in building friendships, emphasizing the value of both. Verse 31. If the righteous are rewarded here on earth... What will happen to wicked sinners? These verses underscore the contrasting destinies of the righteous and the wicked. The righteous receive rewards on earth, leaving us to ponder the fate of wicked sinners. It highlights the enduring value of living a righteous life. And as we reflect on Proverbs chapter 11, verses 24 through 31, we're reminded that wisdom isn't just theoretical knowledge. It is practical and influences the choices that we make in our daily lives. Take a moment to consider these questions. How can you cultivate generosity and a giving heart in your life? In what ways can you seek good, trusting in godliness rather than wealth? Remember, wisdom equips us to make the choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. So let's summarize the key takeaways from Proverbs chapter 11 verses 24 through 31. First is, generosity and wealth. Giving freely leads to increased wealth, while stinginess results in loss. Second, Prosperity of the generous. The generous not only prosper, but also find refreshments for their own souls. Third, meeting the needs of others. Providing for the needs of others leads to blessings, while withholding invites curses. Fourth, seeking good versus evil. Seeking good brings favor, while seeking evil leads to its discovery. Fifth, trust in wealth versus godliness. Trusting in money leads to downfall while the godly will flourish. Sixth, family relationships. Provoking anger and resentment within a family leads to loss. Seventh, positive impact of good deeds. Good deeds have a positive and lasting impact, 
and wisdom is the key to building friendships. And eighth, contrasting destinies. The righteous are rewarded on earth, raising the question about the fate of the wicked. In closing, remember that wisdom equips us to make the choices that lead to a life of fulfillment. As we continue our journey through this vast landscape of wisdom, may we cultivate generosity, seek goodness, trust in godliness, and choose the path that leads to a life of purpose and blessing. Thank you for joining me on this leg of our wisdom trek. I hope that these verses have inspired you to embrace the path of generosity and make choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. As we continue on our journey, may we navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace. And if you have found this podcast insightful, subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us. And then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor. But most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.